Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another board game review. Today, we're taking a look at the Kickstarter exclusive Highlander the Board Game. This is a really awesome set. I've been looking forward to this particular game for quite a while. It's uh, actually came on Kickstarter um, almost a year ago, not quite that long ago, but uh, a while anyways. And I'm really excited about this game. So the Kickstarter exclusive uh, came with the actual Highlander board game itself, along with the Princes of the Universe expansion set. And the actual exclusive part is the uh, the Monk um, expansion pack exclusive thing, whatever you want to call it here. So you got uh, two extra minis and two extra cards here for the game. Uh, we'll take a look at those in a second here, but uh, very cool looking. <clears throat> so what we're going to do today is just uh, take a look at this and unbox this thing and actually see what comes in the set here. Uh, again, very excited. So Highlander, the movie, which this is based off, is one of my all-time favorite films. It's up there in the, the top three for me of all time. I uh, just love this particular movie. Um, i got to give a big shout out to my boy Greg. He is probably the reason I got hooked onto the actual movie itself. Uh, his family used to own a video store next to our local grocery store, and uh, he kind of introduced me to this particular movie way back when we were little youngins, and uh, I've kind of been stuck with it ever since, if you want to look at it that way. But yeah, really awesome. If y'all have not seen the movie, you need to go watch it. It is totally awesome. One of the best movies ever. And there's a bunch of extra ones. Uh, the franchise itself was kind of run for a very long time. Had a TV series that ran for a long time as well. Lots of movies, lots of sequels, lots of cool stuff happening. But this is based off the actual first film itself. The best one, in my opinion, still. Uh, so... You see it has a really awesome packaging, nice box art here. Again, we've got two sets here, so we're going to just take a look at the uh, the first core set here first. Um, top of it just has the standard Highlander logo. The side has a slightly different logo. The other side has the same as the top. Same as the top. And on the back side, we actually get kind of what's the contents of the game itself. This comes from River Horse Games, which brought us the um, Dark Crystal game and Labyrinth and some other really cool games, but uh, very nice. We get some cool miniatures in this. We'll go ahead and start with this one and uh, kind of go from there. So we'll come back to the expansions here in a moment. We're going to slide them to the side just to give us plenty of room here. But don't worry, we will get to those momentarily. Let's go ahead and get the uh, shrink wrap off of this thing. Uh, the actual game, while it was a listed on Kickstarter to begin with, um, the plan, I think, from the company is to actually release it in retail. So you'll be able to pick this thing up for too awful long, I'm sure. Uh, the only thing that you won't be able to pick up is the, uh, the Monk expansions, Vasilisk or something like that. But... Uh, so be looking for this thing, and uh, you can go check out their website if you like. they got a bunch of other cool games out there available. Shrink wrap is off. And the case itself slides out pretty easily. Nice window here for all the miniatures here. Set this over here somewhere to the side. And we can kind of get a look at what's going on. So, we've got a set of dice here. We've got some cards that we will look at here in a moment. We've got all the miniatures that we will also look at. And then underneath it all, we got some other cool stuff. Uh, so we got some nice tokens here, which uh, you just punch these things out. Very nice looking, though. Then we have a cool board that hopefully folds out here, if I can figure out how to do that. 
There we go. It's a two-sided board, so we've got some really nice artwork on it from the movie itself. Some actual poster art over here. We've got some cool stuff. A big battle there in the center. Flipping it over to the back side, we've got some more stuff going on. Um, again, I haven't read the rule set, so I don't know exactly what we're going to go in here, but this is a cool little playmat thing. Then we also have these cards here, which are your character cards. Come in this nice little uh, taped thing, <laughs> which I guess we're going to have to untape to get into it. We'll go ahead and do that. All right, so tape's off. So we get, uh, it should be a character card here for each of our miniatures. Just going from the top, we have Connor McLeod, the Highlander. We have Juan Sanchez Villalobos Ramirez, Peacock. The back of these things has a nice Highlander logo on it. We have Iman Fasil, Knight. We have Victor Kurgan. Or Vitor Kurgan. Sunda Castagir, Zulu. Namanaga Minamoto, Ghost. Talia, Goddess. So those are our character cards. Very nice artwork on all of them. They have this kind of um, I don't know, I don't know the actual uh, varnish that they put on these things. I don't know the actual technical name of it, but it's really nice. It's got some nice texture to it, anyways. And again, some really nice artwork going on here. So you've got the actual character themselves and all this good stuff here. Um, so there are the actual character cards. Then we've got the actual rule book itself here. Again, I love the artwork on here. Flipping it open, we have the actual contents here. How to win, set up the turn, the gathering cards, dice, optional rules, and character bios. So we're just going to kind of flip through this real quick. Let you get a good look at this. This is an officially licensed product here. So they get to use pretty much all the cool stuff from the actual movie itself. And we've got the actual characters here. Kurgan. Ixtalia. Namanaga. Ramirez, Castagir. Very awesome. I love this. this. is a really cool looking book here. Uh, flipping this back over here and turning this stuff back in. We will jump and take a look at the... Let's go look at the dice here first um, before we get into the miniatures here. So I'm going to zoom in so we have a little bit more room to play here. A little bit better quality on the camera here for us. Got just kind of some standard dice here. Dump them out. So we've got a couple of uh, D6s. Really nice kind of marbly dice. We've got a pair of these. pair of these black ones. I guess they're kind of gray as well. I got that nice marbly effect going on. Some cool purple dice. And these cool marbly red ones. So pretty much very cool. Uh, so you get one of each set per player. So it's a really a two player game here. So uh, just be aware of that going into this. It's kind of set up for two people to play. Most people probably aren't going to need the dice, but it's nice that it comes with it. Again, you got to take into consideration some of the people that buy these things aren't necessarily big gamers, um, especially with the Highlander logo. 
they're going to have some crossover people, which is a good thing. So it's always nice to include everything you need into the set. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into the actual cards themselves. Boom, 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 boom. Cool, we'll toss that to the side. <clears throat> so let's uh, take a look and see what we've got here. Um, let me move this to this side here so I can get down here a little bit further. Uh, so, cards we're just going to flip through the years. We got Claymore, Brutal Match, something, another <laughs> Twin Blades, Toledo, Salamanca, Faded Scimitar. Monstrous Blade, Ivory Katana, Honorable Duel, Honorable Duel, Ambush, Ambush, Hunting the Predator, Brutal Clash, Open Warfare, Chosen Fight, Conflict Card, Ian Starcher, Charismatic, Conflict Daniel Crow, Captain, Abbas Emperor, I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this guy's name. Forest Wanderer, Caesar Saxon, Jason Bard, Juliet Visionary, Donald Grant, Flight Lieutenant, Zaling Assassin, Bara Ryder, Marcus Warlord, Rose Bloody, Hilga Viking, Alexis Vale, Faust the Beggar, Kennedy the Wise, Ning Jian, Maximus Gladiator, Farisa Lover, Okudu Kashik, Alma Sholdstorm, the Shield Maiden, uh, The March of Time, Bad Business, Skirmish, Skirmish, Secret Society, Mercenaries, Spies, Learned Friends, Farmhand, Holy Man, Extended Family, Croesus, Death Cult, Archimedes, The Spider, A Ruffian's Life, A Gambler's Life, A Beggar's Life, A Merchant's Life, A Soldier's Life, A Thief's Life, A Life of Work, A Life of Luxury, Life of Crime, A Life of War, Life of Business, Life of Leadership, Life of Justice, Life of Training, Life of Greatness, Life of Sorrow, Life of Joy, Life of Destruction, Scottish Highlands, Kamakura, Russian Steps, Give Me the Prize, One Year of Love. Am I going to get off camera here? <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't lose your head. Who Wants to Live Forever? Kind of Magic, Princes of the Universe, Investment Firm, Bodyguard, Government Contacts, Gang, Spy Master, Futures Trader, True Love, A Politician's Life, A Brutal Life, An Engineer's Life, A Life of Violence, A Life of Justice, A Life of Business, A Perfect Life, Holy Ground, Alleyway, Madison Car Park, Silver Cup Studios, Humiliate, Scar, Opportunity, Rematch, Ruin, Sunder, Collateral, Behead, Humiliate, Scar, Opportunity, Collateral, and Collateral. Uh, so yeah, these are pretty cool cards. Uh, they've got some really nice artwork on all of them, some nice photos from the movie in the cases of where they are actually stills from the movie. Uh, some other of these that are not necessarily in the movie um, have some nice uh, kind of made stuff. So here's some like, battle scenes and things like that and some just uh, <clears throat> nice stuff going on here. So a really nice set of cards here. Very nice. They do have the uh, that same nice... Um, it's not exactly glossy, but it kind of is. I don't really know how to say what type of card that is, to be honest with you. But it's still very slick, very nice. Nice cards here. So, 
screen printed and I don't know. Uh, so there's the cards and let's move on to what we all really want to see. The miniatures here. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these miniatures. And we're just going to start here from the side, uh, simply because this is where we are. <laughs> and take a look at these and see if I can zoom in a little bit more for these guys, since they are small miniatures. Hopefully still catch the light on these things. There we go. Uh, so this is Castagir. Um... Really nicely detailed miniatures. It's kind of standard bases, nothing really special going on there, but they do look really nice, and the actual likenesses from the actors in the film are pretty close, uh, as close as you can get with uh, these small miniatures. Uh, Size-wise, uh, let's see here. I've got a, uh, a regular Northlands fighter from the D&D uh, &D line here, so you can see they're pretty much the same scale, so it's the... Uh, what is that, 20, 25 millimeter, 28 millimeter, whatever the devil that scale is there. So it uh, works really well. It's um, You can use these in other games as well, like the D&D &D games and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so this one is really cool. They do come unpainted, so uh, yeah, you get to paint these. Yay! It's a good thing we're getting some of those uh, new paint sets coming out. But anyways, cast the gear. We'll just kind of rotate around here so you can see everything. Very nice looking. This one should be the goddess, if I remember. Um, Talia, I think. Uh, some nice detail work on this one as well. Just kind of rotate it here for y'all to take a look at. Very nice. Then we have Ramirez. So, this one is pretty cool. I like this one. Uh, one thing to kind of point out is, so they couldn't actually get the uh, the rights to use uh, Sean Connery, his likeness in this, although he is the guy that plays Ramirez in the film. Um, so, for whatever reason, they just couldn't actually get the rights to make him be the likeness, but you can't really tell in this miniature. So, it's fine but the card art and things like that won't actually show uh actual sean connery stuff but everything else is pretty well spot on here from the movie itself so very nice looking anyways but uh however they did get the uh the rights to all the other ones so that's kind of just a weird odd thing uh and here's the big bad guy himself the kurgan i do like this one a lot this is his uh death knight look This one has a lot of cool details on it. I love his sword here. I actually have the uh, the actual movie sword somewhere floating around here, if I can go figure out where it is. I got a couple of them, actually. Uh, but I do have the Kurgan sword. So this one is uh, actual Connor. Connor McCloud from the Clan McCloud. Christopher Lambert likeness. Really awesome work here. Really good details on all this stuff. They really did a great job on all these uh, materials here, getting the, the real feel of the movie itself. And I forgot this lady's name here, uh, but here she is anyways. <laughs> nice detail on this one as well. And the last but not least, so we got a little bit of, uh, I don't know if that's actually supposed to be a, a tassel hanging off there, or if that's just an extra piece of plastic. I'll have to go back and look at that and see. It may just be a tassel, but uh, still looks really nice. You can see his sunglasses here. Some really nice detail work on this guy. Very cool looking. <clears throat> so there you go. Zoom back out here so we can see. That's the uh, the main core set here. So very nice job here. Uh, River, sorry, River Horse <laughs> did a really great job with the actual 
pieces of the game itself. They've got some really cool components in here. It's a very interesting game if we actually get around to actually um, looking through the rules and everything. I'll go ahead and uh, put this thing back together here. That's the uh, core box there. Nice two-player game. They're uh, 32 millimeter is what it says on here, so that's nice. Anyways, uh, so check them out, riverhorsegames.com. Uh, that is the core box. Now we'll go ahead and move on to the expansion pack. This is the Princes of the Universe. So, very cool. Flipping it over to see the back. There's not really a whole lot on the back here. Um, but we do have, you know, 7U, 32mm models, 7 character sheets, and 55 cards with new tactics and all sorts of good stuff. Two to six players. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and uh, take a look and seize. I think I was most excited about the miniatures on all this uh, particular set. Um, but not disappointed at all so far. Really awesome. Shake this thing a little bit to get it to slide out of the box. There we go. I do like the fact that they have these nice inserts that allow you to kind of keep the miniatures together. So pop that out. Inside we have a eh, slightly bent little tray thing here. We've got the character cards and another set of action cards. And then underneath that, it's uh, just this paper tray here. So uh, it's nice that they kind of have that little insert to kind of keep things from uh, moving around there. So that's cool. Uh, let's take a look at these cards first. Pull that paper off of there. So we have Russell Nash, his, uh, the Highlander's modern day persona. Christopher Lambert again. We've got Vincent Smythe, Zulu. Uh, these are upside down. Um, Iman Fasil, the Knight. And I'm back upside down again. Victor Kruger, the Kurgan. Clancy Brown in his uh, modern day version uh, after he cut his hair. Ekma Sek. Amy Gray, the ghost. And an alternate version of Talia, the goddess. So, very cool. Nice character cards here. Stick those back in there. Uh, let's go for the new cards themselves. And we'll flip this to the side like this so you can kind of stack everything up here. So we've got running out the clock, quite a few of these. Headhunter. Headhunter. A reason to fight. A reason to live. Ethiopian grasslands. Jaffa. Cholula. A reason to run, a life of learning, a life of fighting, a life of trading, a life of teaching, a life of sparring, a life of lending, a buccaneer's life, a preacher's life, a warrior's life, a hard life, an easy life, a simple life, treacherous friend, the gambler, nature's ally, Crowley, priestess of Anubis, Pharaoh's blessing. No man could understand. It's free birds. Fighting and free. People say you're... People say you've had your day. I have no rival. Here we belong. An old friend. Bounty hunter. 
Hit Team, Con Artists, A Chairman's Life, A Hitman's Life, A Life of Science, A Life of Balance, Construction Site, Spree, Crusader's Longsword, Wicked Kopiesh, Sword of Destiny. So, very awesome stuff here. Um, sounds like they would actually make some interesting additions to the, uh, the theme going on here for the uh, core game. So, I do like what's going on here. Um, they have seemed to capture quite a bit of the actual uh, thematic choices of the actual uh, premise of Highlander. Um, if you haven't seen the game before, it... Oh, I guess we should show you these. Uh, the back of the cards here are different. So, um, kind of cool. Uh, so, then the the actual film itself, it's essentially a an immortal who kind of lives through all of time and uh, kind of lives different lives and has all these interesting um, interactions with the world and you know how he, they choose to go about either for good or bad, for personal gain or whatever, uh, and. All the struggles they have to go through, like living through wars and things like that. So, um, again, just a really fascinating film. So, yeah. Um, so, all right. So, miniatures. Let's see which ones we have here. Let's uh, zoom in so we can get a better look at all of these guys. So, these are essentially alternate versions of all of the main characters from the core set. And we'll get in here real close here. Again, really nice, uh, same kind of construction as the uh, original set here, so you know, no big surprises here, but some nice uh, redesigns here for the characters. These are more of their uh, modern day versions in some cases, and uh, so yeah, very cool. And some extra characters we haven't seen in the past. Ooh, here is uh, the Kurgan from modern times. Uh, yeah, Clancy Brown is just the man. So, uh, very cool. Y'all might not know it, but he actually uh, did the voice for Lex Luthor in the Superman animated series. So, amongst all the other awesome stuff he's always done. So, <laughs> very nice looking here. The goddess. So these are a little bit flimsy on these pieces that kind of extend out, so you may have to be careful with those and not break them. But uh, I just really noticed it on that one piece right there. All the rest of those seem fine. Really nice detail on this one, though. Really just great all-around miniatures here for all these things. So, And the last one we have is Russell Nash. Which is uh, still Connor McCloud, but uh, modern day version. So, Very cool looking though. His signature pose with his katana. So very cool looking awesomeness in a sauce so that is the princes of the universe expansion set for highlander as well you'll have to uh, pick that up to go along with the core set and lastly we have the actual um uh kickstarter exclusive which is these uh it's brother vasilisk the monk and you do have two versions of him as well. You've got the uh, the actual um, monk version and then the modern day kind of pugilist fighter version of him. So here's your the character cards here, as you can see. Very nice. I do like the way. So this particular one does a really good job of illustrating the differences in the, uh, 
you know the old version and the uh, new modern version so very nice there the uh, miniatures that we get are actually come sealed in this uh, cool little um, plastic clamshell thing Just pop that open and we got a little bit of foam insert for that and these are actually uh, metal miniatures uh, not the plastic ones that we had for the other ones um, I'm not really a big fan of metal miniatures. Um, I didn't really just haven't used them a whole lot, but uh, so these may actually not show up too well. So I'm gonna have to grab this thing here. <laughs> these are really cool though. They do look really nice. Uh, they've got a nice heft to them. So yeah, let's uh, just take a look anyways. Um, I don't know. I'm this may or may not work too well since uh, my cameras are putting off a lot of light here. Try to get everything on the board and uh, so you're probably not going to be able to see much of the detail work in these things. And I hate that for you because these things have an amazing amount of detail. Maybe I can do something here. I don't know. Could probably turn the lights off. That'd probably work. But anyways, uh, so this one is the, the monk version of him. Nice metal sculpture, nicely done there. And the second one is the more modern day version, uh, the street clothes version, I guess you could say. Again, some really nice detail work here. And again, I'm not really a big fan of these metal versions. Um, I do really like the plastic ones a lot better, but these are nice as well. Um, I do like the fact that uh, they are different enough from the core set to kind of make it feel like a special exclusive kind of thing here. Uh, so they're going to go back in this thing here. Stick these things back in here. So uh, yeah, so these, these particular miniatures are only available in the Kickstarter version. So when you go to, if you didn't participate in the Kickstarter, you will probably have to hunt these down on eBay or something like that and uh, I do like them um, it's kind of a nice keepsake I guess is the way I'm looking at it so they are special enough and have a different enough kind of uh, feel to them as opposed to the you know the expansion and the original core set miniatures to make it actually seem like an actual exclusive so that's uh, one of the things that I've always kind of disliked in uh, some of the other Kickstarter games um, is the fact that the the exclusive stuff is uh there's really not a whole lot to kind of set it apart um and i guess that makes sense to a certain extent if you're building it as game components you kind of want it to feel the same as the regular game uh at, at least as close as possible but th this is an interesting choice that they went with the the metal for these over the plastic in that they are still functionally the same as the plastic resin ones <clears throat> but still enough different to make it you know a an actual exclusive so i give them a big thumbs up for that anyway so <laughs> whether or not i actually like metal miniatures or not that's all completely beside the point as a kickstarter exclusive these are really cool and i really do dig that approach to it <clears throat> okay so that all being said now it's time to kind of just take a a step back and kind of think about the actual set itself so the set itself <clears throat> uh, was actually a reasonable deal um, it came out to like I want to say like 50 bucks for the entire set which uh, kind of really surprised me I think because most of these uh, games that you get on Kickstarter you know they're 100 bucks or more by the time you do all the add-ons so uh, this one is really reasonably priced, and I think the retail is probably going to be somewhere around that $40 range also. So at that price point, this is kind of a no-brainer to pick it up. Even if you don't really like the overall aesthetics of the game or the um, the playability of the game and how it's laid out, the miniatures in and themselves are really worth picking up even at that price point. 40 bucks for these amazing things is really still a good deal to me so um yes uh this thing gets a uh a 10 out of 10 rating from me again i am a fan of the highlander film and pretty much the franchise 
in general so i may be a little bit uh biased in this entire concept of this thing but i'm really stoked about this game so yes uh so my question to you all is what do you all think um does this look cool y'all interested in picking it up uh have you already drop some comments down below let us know what you think about this thing if you've got around to playing it here how do you actually think the actual play feels um i'm really liking what i've seen so far again not really reading the rules too much but I like the idea that you got uh, two players kind of pitted against each other and kind of living through a timeline of essentially what an immortal would be going through. So that's a, a really cool concept. It's not one I've actually seen done much in games so far. So it's really got my brain turning and uh, really, really getting uh, anxious to go actually start learning how to play this and sit down and uh, see actually how it goes. But uh, yeah, so... Drop comments, let us know what you think. Um, that's pretty much all the time we've got for today, so just want to say thank you for watching. <clears throat> if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Uh, like us and share if you like what you're digging and dig what you're liking and all that good jazz. Uh, yeah, so until next time, there can be only one. Game on.